Hey Fox, how you doing? Wanna show you two more things. One I finished actually yesterday, last night. And uh, Vance gave me an idea to try this. I originally thought of it, but I thought it wouldn't look good. And uh, when I draw the line on it, 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 came, it looked like it's gonna be cool, so I went with it. And it was Warncliffe EDC. Came up pretty, pretty cool, and uh, because to avoid go, going into the crazy tip, I put that micro tanto there. So just for the looks and just to not end up with crazy thin tip, there's a little EDC Warncliffe. And this one has a pretty cool grind. It's nice and low on one side and higher on the other side, getting narrower towards the tip, you know, like stronger. And it has the swedges up front, if you can see them there. Like the radius swedge that comes perfect from the midpoint here of the grinds and flat to the tip. And then same thing here, from the where this meets to the tip. And I actually like this finish. It's actually straight up 120 grit. It looks really cool, very nice contrast between the, the horizontal grind lines. And then the regular grind, look at that, the, the shine of it. I like it, how it looks. <laughs> it actually looks... I don't know, it reminds me of, you know, a lot of custom knife makers actually do this. You know, when you see uh, hinders, custom hinders actually leave this rougher grind on it. It shows that grind line is pretty cool and it has very, very, very nice visual effect. It may decrease the cutting ability slightly because of the resistance in slicing, but that's like a minor, minor little thing. I do like how it looks. It comes to very fine edge with super small micro bevel. Actually, I might have actually only ruined it slightly because I did the sheet afterwards. But no, actually, it's maybe good. I don't know because I always run the exacto blade right along the edge, so that might have taken the edge off. But did the carbon fiber heavily sandblasted? I love the look of it again. It's like really cool. It has like a pattern. I did the pattern in it. But then round everything off and uh, sandblasted it heavily and it, I love how this looks. It's like so aggressive, very nice and grippy but very contour, very, very, very cool. So that was last night and last night we actually came up with the idea. Jeff had the, his old little friction photos, his original war toads, blanks that were heat treated. And the idea of doing that friction photo which is one scale and the backspacer. And uh, I said we could probably actually do this on the mill or mill it out on the drill to have a one piece. So I went with it today. I shaped my own uh, blade blade shape, and here it is. It's just a prototype. It has a lot of flaws, but it's pretty neat. So you have you know nice and close little friction folder, very small. This nice nice and pointy. My actually rounded off more. It's not like sharp sharp, but just because it's so tapered it is pointy it might poke in the pocket a little too much but then the other side is just like this you know that's one piece one piece G10 with the uh, kind of like the random rock pattern I just did whatever and sent blast at it opens up into this shape which I kind of like Rounded everywhere, rounded all all the edges. Even here on the inside, it's like, you know like heavenly contour. You see it there. Nice three finger grip. Pinky comes right behind it. You know your finger actually is in the here in the groove, so it cannot even close on you. Plus you have your palm on top of the little little tank, and you have just nice low but very lean, very almost like a scandy grind but again with the micro bevel to strengthen it up pretty neat this is the ABL and also when you close it the blade actually comes into the groove that was milled out it's not uh, centered that's the problem that's one of the problems with it I did actually uh, this was uh, this was actually an experimental piece that we started off doing something else so this side is actually milled out more than that side but as a concept I think it's gonna be pretty cool as a couple of blades like this maybe we'll sometimes later down the road I'll just redo this handle on it and uh, make it like better and also fix up the grind a little bit it's a little off one side is higher than the other this side you see towards the tip is higher than that 
but came out pretty cool. Nice little, you know, prototype friction folder. It's, this is like the cool collaboration with Jeff, you know, he has an idea, I put a little bit of my spin on it and uh, do this and then he does something else, you know, like some other idea. Integral would be cool, that would be fun. It, it could be doable actually, integral, integral friction folder, folder with only one screw actually. I put this pin there just for close position so my edge doesn't close into it because I milled it out too much a little bit. But if I didn't do that mistake here, you, I wouldn't even have to put that, uh, you know, the steel pin there. It would actually, the, the backspacer would act as a, as a stop, stop pin for close and open position. So, let me know what you think guys, I think it's pretty neat, it's very small, it's very very tiny, it has like a 2 inch, I think it's actually right under 2 inch blade. So, nice and tiny, but pretty cool, could be very useful, actually, I was carving wood with it and it's actually pretty neat, it's not that bad and actually, feels nice in the hand, it's, it's slim, but, nice slim, slim little friction folder. So, hope you enjoyed it guys, let me know what you think about this, I'm happy, we're having a really good time. A lot of cool ideas coming to play, you know, and some better than others, but <laughs> we'll see. Guys, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.